Hello! Uh, hi there! It's me! It's Dave! Or the Jaded Rabbit! God bless you, my friends! Thank you kindly for finding some time in your busy day to join me for... Mortal Kombat 1. This game pulls me back in because there is a Titan battle appearing for the next couple of days for the Easter weekend, it seems. If you want to get Order of Darkness costume number three for Lehman, it's here. You can get it. <laughs> Good. So if you weren't able to go Elder God in Season 2 and get costume number 3 uh, variant for Lehman, you can now get it. So that's interesting. Um, I'm not super... I'm not super excited. I mean, like, uh, the one thing that I am looking forward to here is... Testing out my talisman build. <laughs> That's kind of why I created my talisman build. For things like seasonal tower, titan battle. I know that people struggle with these encounters in the game. But for me, these encounters seem very easy. Very baby mode. So I wonder how terrible it's going to be. This little picture that we've got here of Lee Men is coming from the official Mortal Kombat Twitter. Seems like they woke up. They're also advertising the fact that you can purchase UMK3 Reptile. Uh, I'm curious to know whether or not these things will be timed exclusives i.e. you can only get them now, or will they return to the shop at a later date? Things did not return to the shop at a later date in MK11. So, yeah. <laughs> Actually, the only skin that I kind of miss out on getting from MK1 is the Christmas Reptile. Because it was pink. If I had known that, I might have gotten it. But you can see here... They're really advertising what it is that you can purchase. I think it's important to note that they decided to release only four skins. <laughs> four skin. Not six skins. Here they're talking about the Titan battle. And I was very curious to see why was there a patch update going on yesterday with Janet? Because if you recall, the last time we got a cameo character was with Chameleon and she was actually added to the game at the same time Quan Chi was added to the game not sure if you can see that but this is coming from WB support WB game support this is the patch notes from December and I find it kind of suspicious that they continuously update the patch notes like what are you changing secretly didn't the patch already come out why do you need to keep changing things so yeah chameleon was added at the same time as quan chi so my thinking was why did they decide to add janet later so these are the patch notes from yesterday and it seems like a number of things were fixed some more immediate some that have been known issues for a while so we've got an issue causing frame rate drop during combat league matches i just thought that was the coding to the server when you are matchmaking i just thought that was their issue what do you mean that they fixed it so i haven't played combat league since the latest patch not sure if anything has changed but if you've experienced it let me know they've also i'm kind of shocked at this because like I've been hearing reports from you guys about glitches occurring in the seasonal tower, and I do still receive glitches as I'm going through the seasonal towers. However, they're more of the nature that you knock down the opponent, you finish him, and it doesn't finish. You can't finish him. So you have to leave the tower, go back, redo. Um, I haven't 
encounter the situation where the whole entire tower is locked out. And it seems like it was during a blood ritual modifier. Strange, right? So what is the blood ritual modifier? Like, I wish I was paying attention to these matches because I just put the turbo and leave. So I don't know what what happens. Addressed an issue with Melina's role causing her to go out of bounds? This sounds like a crazy glitch. Why report this? This sounds so cool. Causing her to go out of bounds after connecting with an exploding crystal modifier. So I guess this is from... This must have been identified last season with the Sayonara clue where they had to reduce the number of size as the requirement for unlocking the uh, clue. Yeah, because Melina's role causing her to go out of bounds. I did not try that. So you know that fight with Rain where you have to spam size. I'm imagining someone rolled out of bounds. Kind of crazy interesting so this one is so that seems like a longer issue this one seems like more of an immediate fix because that seasonal tower glitch i'm not too sure if people are able to progress now but uh yeah let me know i haven't had issues like that but once again i i think like talisman turbo controller this might be the best way of getting by without game breaking glitches damn um addressed an issue causing task five of the frame data unsafe attack lesson to be impossible to complete so this is something that i heard about too but i was unaffected by this because i had already completed all of the tutorial lessons but sometime in season three there were changes to i think frame data for a specific character making it impossible to complete the task. So I think they've fixed it. Interesting. Very interesting. So also at the same time, how does this happen? So J Jana Cage now available with the latest patch from March 27th. But at the same time, addressed an issue that would cause Janet to attack in the wrong direction. How is this even possible in the patch notes when Janet wasn't even released to us? Right? Aren't we the unpaid beta testers? <laughs> Aren't we supposed to be finding the issues for them to fix? So how is it that they released a character alongside a fix for an issue? Like, who had access to Janet Gage and told them that she was jumping in the wrong direction? There's a lot of things wrong about Janet Cage, but apparently jumping in the wrong direction is no longer one, one of them. Very interesting. Lots of PC issues, lots of Switch issues. I'm not on Switch, but it seems like these were things that were originating either from earlier with the season, like Order of Darkness Reptile Palette, or things like from a while ago, like Deadly Alliance Skin with Sub-Zero. Strange. Shiva's Ranatai issue. Yeah, guys, don't report your bugs. You see this website? I'm using the website. I use this website because I find it very informational. But don't be the unpaid beta tester. Don't do their job. Let them do their job. Isn't that why we paid them? By purchasing their product? Uh, th but I guess to each their own. So very, very wild times. You know, this patch stuff. Very insane. Because how do you... How do they do these things? I feel when you read the patch notes, the situation with... Warner Brothers with NetherRealm, it becomes more dire. It seems really haphazard the way they do things over there. All right, so let's do this Titan battle. Thank you so much for joining along. OMG, 15 of you here. Can we get 15 likes? Or 15 dislikes? Or get out. What are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing here? Surely you must like something.
Hmm. I didn't get a tooltip. I just started the game 20 seconds ago, so why doesn't it offer a tooltip? Like, hey, Titan Battle with Lee Men is here. Oh, here it is. Okay. Titan Battles are here. A new invading force has entered Liu Kang's timeline. For a limited time, defeat the invading Titan to earn exclusive rewards. How exclusive is it going to be? Because they sell those Titan skins like they did for Baraka and Shao. Like they sold those Titan battle skins, costume number three, in the premium shop. Like, those aren't exclusive. They should choose better words to describe these things. Like, it's quite clear that it is very money hungry. They're going to try and nickel and dime us wherever they can. But um, they're not getting me. <laughs> they're not getting me. Hopefully they're not getting you either. So this is the pyramid. Three days left. I imagine this went live with the daily reset. But I was busy. <laughs> I, I was not. I was not around. Okay, so why am I peacemaker? Ew. <laughs> Ew. Okay, and let's be Havoc. Okay. I don't want Janet. <laughs> We're going to change her. It's going to be... I can tolerate Kano. Can't really tolerate a lot of things in this game. Um. Okay, and we're going to put on our new relic. I got a new relic. And I got my talisman, my relic. I think I'm good to go. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> I need to go to the shop. Let me go purchase things. Don't ask questions. Just consume. Gotta... Gotta purchase things from Gateway Collector. Oh, hey, I've got full inventory on that. Curious. Okay, and then what's this? Hmm, nothing good. Always got to check Gateway Portal Collector. And if you're missing Dragon Bloods, well, he's selling them for the last the last um this hour the the next 15 minutes pepsi i'm so excited for <laughs> lol <laughs> yes um i already played with her did all that yesterday get a turbo controller is there any way to replenish my talismans without spending coins at the forge use an adinian charm when forging your talisman if you don't want to spend money to replenish a talisman, any fight you win while... Okay, well, thank you for being helpful, Rudimus. Thank you. Um, Here to preview how obnoxious this boss fight is. I don't know how hard it will be. I don't think it'll be hard. I mean, I think it'll be hard if you're not prepared. <laughs> if you're not prepared. I kind of... Don't see how this game is hard at all. I was kind of hoping that there would be, like, a nice consumable there. Oh, you know what? We could look for a good consumable. Purchase, right? Oh, well, do I want? Because I would need, like, six, eight. Because there's eight Lee Men skins to acquire. Let's just do the battle. Oh, and let's also do <laughs> yay. I like easy buttons. I don't know about you, but easy buttons are good for me. So that's Lee Men. And over here is the Squashra. So we got everything for the Squashra? But we might just do it for, like, LOLs. Okay, Havoc. Let's go. So now I'm going to pretend I'm a turbo controller. <laughs> I'm just tapping buttons. 
<laughs> oh my god, so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. Lee Men makes it so hard, right? <laughs> Ew. Not Lee Men making men hard. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, look, you can kind of see the dragon. Kind of. Oh, look, she gone. She disappeared. She said, I'm out of here. Yay. <laughs> Let's just jump. Yeah, hard, right? <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. This game is so dumb. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so we did two fight rounds, one survive, another fight round. What is this? Another fight round? Just die. Okay, she dead. <laughs> Do you know what Lee Men did when she looked in the mirror? <laughs> she died. <laughs> oh my word, poor Lee Men. Okay, sweet. Uh <laughs> I think everyone should use extreme prejudice against Lee Men. I agree. Hey, we got two skins. This is good. I thought I was going to have to do six matches. Uh, The only one I kind of like from the basic six is the yellow one. But I guess the gold one improves upon the yellow one. We'll have to see. Um, I have Melina Order of Darkness skin. Cool. Me too. <laughs> me too i get these things as you know instantly when they come out because it's like where's where's the difficulty <laughs> where's the difficulty and i mean like i guess i break the game to make the game so easy but it all just points to the the designs of the developers they really want people to suffer i don't think they want people to do things like what i do but I find it very amusing. I'm working on making some new ways of breaking the game, but I'm not gonna lie, it, it hurts sometimes to keep the turbo controller on. I'm like, I would rather play. I I would rather play rather than grinding for components. And when I say I would rather play, it's not this game. <laughs> not this game so i've been enjoying ps plus you can stream and download games you know easily or whatever so i go after the puzzle category i like puzzle strategy games because i'm a nerd <laughs> and um yeah i found some good ones i found this dei one about india <laughs> I've been playing it. It's pretty good. Definitely hurts my brain sometimes. But I think that's what's required with a puzzle game. Jackboot? Jackboot? What the hell is a jackboot? Okay, so when I see them manly legs on, <laughs> on a woman, I'm going to call that a jackboot. Oh, look at her. She's serving jackboot. <laughs> you thought she was Jill? No, she's serving Jack's boots. <laughs> Crazy. I didn't get a notification. Oh, no. Stupid YouTube. That's okay. Um, I guess it's because I went live before the scheduled time. I'm not sure. YouTube, YouTube's a confusing place. It's amazing that even though she's taking damage, she's able to shoot, like, a dragon thing at me. And, like, the dragon sort of, like, disappears, like, it, it glitches out of, ex out of existence. <laughs> it doesn't fade away as smoothly. It just sort of, one moment it's there, one moment it's gone. Yay, Lee Men. Can she just die already? 
I don't even think I've seen her transform into her, like, super, super butch titan form. I don't think we've seen that yet. Or if we have, it's been blurred and obscured by the green haze. Yeah. I didn't say the fight would be hard, but I can bet it will be annoying. I mean, it's just grindy, I guess. Not super grindy compared to grinding for components. This is like... What? Six matches? Eight matches? Somewhere there? We're also going to have to use Lee Men to get the gold. Um... And I don't think I've been keeping track. So I think we've got four of the six. So five, six, seven, and then Lee Men. Okay. <laughs> just the just lots of matches with Lee Men. Can barely see her. I guess that's preferred. Yeah, so that's like a, a low projectile that she's got. What's the point of giving these titans these, like, extra moves? Why can't we play with them? There's so many things in this game that we can't play with. Like, Chapter 15 hybrids. What's the point of putting all that work into designing things that the players can't even play? And it's, like, time-limited. I remember that the modifiers in MK11... Holiday Towers. Those were, like, fun. But I didn't feel like I was, like, missing out on not having them in the game. But when I see things like the hybrids and these extra special moves, like, why can't we have a variation system that adds extra special moves? Why do they do this? I know they try to say that the cameo system is, like, variation system. I don't see it. Okay, so this is five. Injustice. Gotta reference their other franchise that they're effing up. <laughs> Wonderful. Good job, NRS. Uh, let's see. So the high ponytail, too, on this costume, it just reads... Man, man, like Chinese soldier. If you've ever seen like Chinese dramas and it's like from that kind of historical fantasy period, the soldiers will have like helmets like that. That's her hair, <laughs> but they have helmets like that. So lame. Although, you know, I guess I will, you know, give credit where credit is due. I see, like, inspiration of old country village worker in Raiden's farmer outfit. I see it a little bit. I think his outfit is still too, like, polished, classy for him to be doing, like, Picking the cabbage. <laughs> Not picking the cabbage. Yes, he's picking the cabbage in that outfit. I still think he's a little overdressed for it. But I can see where they were trying to, I guess, culturally appropriate. Because if it was appreciate, they would actually just use the cultural reference as opposed to trying to put twists and spins on it. That bothered me about season two. Like, they were fully Chinese zombie vampires. But there's no explanation. Like, they could have done so much more with the invasion storyline. And actually pay um, better appreciation. <laughs> more honor to this, like, cultural trope of zombie vampires in China. Anyways. Yeah, like this Lee Men outfit too, I think it's also like a kind of like bastardization of what you would have as like a beautiful Mandarin dress. 
Like, you don't get any beautiful cultural references. You get this, like, weird nether realm take on it where it's not too revealing, not too sexy, and not too feminine. <laughs> and uh, I see it on this costume that Lee Men's already wearing. I hate the pleats. Not the pleated crotch flap. I just, I can't with it. Okay, Lee Men, I think we need the silver. Is this the silver? If this is the silver, then we can get our final match. <laughs> Please let it be the silver. Yeah, it's the silver. Silver star. Okay, cool. Okay, let me <laughs> let me make some changes here. Gonna swap around to Lee Men. Uh, where are you, Lehman? There you are. And let's put a talisman on you. Okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and let's put all your points in health. So we don't have any kind of resistances with her. Like, Havoc, our resistances are crazy. But she's just basic. She's a basic bitch. I'm not playing with her. I don't like her. You can't force me to like something I don't like. So, um, yeah, we're going to use the relic. I wonder, just the relic stats? Oh, my God, look at that. I was like, the relic stats aren't going to be represented in the, in the thing. <laughs> it's there. Wow. I love it. Okay, so let's actually take a look at Havoc. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, that looks way better. <laughs> I like that. That looks great. Do you see that? Look at all those resistances. That's actually a pretty cool relic. Um, I'm kind of surprised because I feel like that's going to be something that they nerf. Like, this is what I'm using. It's called gemstones. Elemental resistance is increased by 50%. So all of the elements, you get a plus 50. If you already have a natural resistance, that means you're getting immunity. And if you already have, like, a, a couple of resistances, you're getting a couple of immunities. So it's wild that they have this relic for people. I did see relics like this before, but it had the debuff. This one had no debuff. I think the things without debuffs are probably better. But even the things with debuffs could still have their own usefulnesses. But that's just like my puzzle, my puzzle mind. I like to think about these things. Yeah, I deleted the one with the debuff because you can get a debuff where you start the fight at low health. Which will give you access to your fatal blow, but meh. Okay, so let's do this final match. I'm excited. We're done, <laughs> stupid Lee Men. Oh, God, Battle of the Beast and the Beastier. <laughs> Is that Kung Lao? <laughs> I think that's Kung Lao. <laughs> Not the one, like, strand of hair in the face. Ugh. Oh, oops. I forgot to use my talisman. Okay. Well, let's see what she does now. <laughs> well, we can't really see anything at all, actually. <laughs> Ew, Lee Men is so farty. Look how much fart she makes. I think it's smellier than Havoc's. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be killing more efficiently. <laughs> That's... That's the situation here. I think we'll just keep farting. Can't see her. Can't see her Lehman. Can't see my Lehman. <laughs> They're hidden. Everyone's protected. My Lehman defeated Boss Melina Invasion. Cool. I used Katana first. And then I used Sindel to beat the final Molina boss. I used Katana with the capsule first. 
And then I used Sindel with a bunch of boosts. What's that talisman build? It's a build. <laughs> it's a build. Unfortunately, I don't provide all of the details because I'm not doing the work for NRS. NRS sees the stuff, then they nerf it. That's why I haven't made a video called What's My Talisman Build? <laughs> I did make a video how to ride dick bicycles like Ariana, which might tell you how to make a talisman. That's why you gotta watch all the videos, my friends. Even the ones that have stupid names, like I'm not a biologist. You don't know what you're missing. I'm not a biologist. <laughs> Okay, so we got all the skins for Lehman. Great. <laughs> Great. You know what? Let's let's do the Ashra one. Just to be like, I did it. And I refuse to use Lehman as well, so we're just <laughs> using Havoc. If I, I I like the guys. I will say I like the guys more. Who doesn't like a gay twink? <laughs> Who? Who? Who among us? Oh, yeah. Ashra's dying way quicker. And the fart clears. Do you see that? It's like they properly programmed the Ashra fight, but they did not properly program the Lee Men fight. Isn't that wild? Like, look how the talisman properties change. Oh, it's uh, this part. Yeah, look how the talisman properties change between what should be like the same kind of match. Titan battle. Oh, I'm so glad I did the Titan battle here. Because <laughs> it's important to see these things. If you don't experience them, you don't really know. Because look, is the gas cloud going to clear? No? Okay, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Something's just really strange. So Ashra's not like she didn't die. Are we going to have to go through another survive? Yeah. So this one has like five rounds, two survive rounds, three fight rounds, and then like a final kick the bucket at, at Ashra moment. Because look, she only, she only got 23 health or something. So now she did. Hey, I tried to do my my fatality. It didn't let me. I wanted to stick a candy cane up her ass. They denied me that pleasure, but oh well. Okay, so yeah, I guess we're done everything in the pyramid. Yeah, everything's blue. Great, great, <laughs> great. So let's go and check out these skins. These terrible new skins that we've acquired. Um, Let's also see what you guys are saying. Thank you. How rounds is there against Titan Lee Men? <laughs> Lee Men's got five rounds. One survive, four fights. Okay, so this is the skin. That, like, took no effort. <laughs> what is the point of the Titan battle if it doesn't have, like, difficulty? I'm just, I'm just questioning. Should I be doing it without Talisman? Is that what they want? Well, then they should, like, restrict Talisman usage. I, I'm still questioning, like, what are the developers really trying to do with the game? Because it doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so this helmet is f fucking ugly. <laughs> what is this thing? It's so ugly. It looks like a broken satellite dish. Wh who wants to wear a satellite dish on the head? Also, she's got, like, a high ponytail. But she's also got hair coming down the back. And it's, like, braided or curled? 
curled and braided? It's too much. Too much. Non, not realistic either. I don't buy the hair. And then you've got, like, the, the wispy strands in the front. Is that to make her more feminine? Or did she just grow out her sideburns? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> but the costume is supposed to be a take on a Mandarin dress. A, cha a Chong Sam. And those dresses are typically beautiful. I think they're trying to say, like, hey, we're exposing upper, high, hip, upper thigh, hip area. But honestly, who wants to look at Lee Men like that? She's so flat. Like, this is where, like, body like a box, body like an ironing board, flat. And like oblong. <laughs> this is what I get. I wish uh, she was more feminine. Like, what's the point of putting her in something feminine when she's not really femininely shaped? But okay. But yeah, the Mandarin dress, it loses its um, aesthetic. Like, it looks like more so culturally appropriate from the waist up. But, like, from the waist down, like, what the fuck is this? What is this pleated accordion crotch flap window curtain to the cooch? You got the pleated curtain before the beef curtain. <laughs> right? <laughs> Wonderful. And the chainmail boots with the high heel. Like, really, you're going to wear a chainmail boot with an open toe. High heel. Okay. Yeah, these these bitches are only feminine from the feet down. You know, I used to be into nail polish, into nail art design. And I, one of the, like, weird Reddits that were out there, I don't go to it anymore. <laughs> I think it was a phase. Now I just do, like, pedicures, manicures for my mom. Not really for myself, but I wouldn't be opposed to putting, like, a pretty color on my nails but i remember on this reddit it was like man polish <laughs> or man polish <laughs> you, you take your pick but th i remember seeing this one guy post a photo of his feet and they were hairy and he painted them and i'm like get out of here what do you mean <laughs> what do you mean you've got hairy feet and you're trying to show them off no one want to see your chewbacca feet no one want to see your Chewbacca feet. Please. So, yeah. Like, I don't want to see Lee Men's Chewbacca feet. With, <laughs> what? Nary a painted nail? <sighs> so, whose weird fetish at NRS is to, like, take photos of their f feet in high heels? Is it Ed Boone? Do you think Ed Boone likes to take photos of his feet? in high heels or is it Derek you know Derek he's always sitting like cross-legged and moving around like he's tweaking out <laughs> on some illicit substance and he I always I always see his foot twitching maybe it's him I just I don't know <laughs> I really don't know so yeah the boot complexity the paradox of the boots, I can't. Are they trying to do, like, a soft but hard, like, iron fist in a velvet glove? Is that what they're trying to go for? Where's the makeup? Where's the makeup? Why can I make Leo in Tekken 8 into a more beautiful feminine girl than Lee Men. In fact, I can put beautiful butterfly makeup on all of the men in Tekken. Why can't I put it on the men here in front of us? Why can't I put beautiful makeup here? No? Gotta leave it to the modders to do? And then people who use the mods, total hypocrites. Because those are the same people saying, oh, why are you perving out on these women? Bitch, why are you using the mod? <laughs> why are you trying to make these women more attractive if you're not completely satisfied with their design in the game? 
All right, let's see what you guys are saying. 37 of you here. What are you doing here? Leave a like or get out. Why are you here? Why do you come here if you're not leaving a like? Are you hate watching? <laughs> do I need to ban you? <laughs> Let me know. Um, thanks for the reminder. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yay. Um, hello, Dave. Is your meow meow still burning? It's burning all the time. <laughs> burning all the time. All right, so let's see the other colors, ugly men. What other colors do we have? So I, you know, out of the all of the six colors, because I've seen these these costumes before from the data mined files. That's how I know that they were ripping us off since day one by keeping these trapped in the game behind some time gate. Well, we've approached that time gate today. March 28th. But I like the yellow. <laughs> like, this was the color I liked the most. Um, and there's just something so joyous about a yellow. And it and it's giving, like, very pastel yellow. It's not too vibrant. It's giving very safe, buttery feelings. It's nice. The blue's okay, too. I don't mind the blue. Some of these colors are, like, pretty nice. I just don't like the actual design. Of the costume? The actual design of the costume leaves me bewildered. So, wait. I don't think I've properly analyzed this crotch flap situation. Because it seems like there's, like, a blue silk or a blue satin on top of, like, a brown nude leather flap. So you're telling me she's got two flaps in the front, two flaps in the back? Why does there need to be a leather flap? Is the leather flap also corrugated? What are all of these pleats? Why is there so many pleats? It just hurts my mind. I think also what would have really made this nice if there was like an ombre on the crotch flap. Like, I see that they're trying to go to pink, but I think a more um contrasting gradient would have made the crotch flap pop. I mean, if you want to make the pussy pop, got to have pop and crotch flaps, right? So, yeah, would have looked better that way. Let's see this one. <sighs> I mean, it's black and red. I think it could have been better if it was all black. Or less of this brown accent color. I don't know why they throw in all of these browns into these costumes. They want to make it look like these characters rolled around in poo, in dirt, in something. This is questionable. I think they could have made this prettier. Gray, blue, and red. I think red and gold would have been more culturally appropriate. Red and gold are make some beautiful Chong Sams. There are Chong Sams with blue, but they don't have this weird mash of colors. So strange. And then we've got pea green for all your baby food requirements. <laughs> pea green, Lehman. Looking not as bad as some of the other colors. It's okay. And this is what I'm talking about again with the gradient. Like they could have made the gradient more stand out. By having it more contrasting. Like, imagine a red, or not a red, um, like a turquoise, um, a, a purple. Like, imagine some nice duochrome. Because that's what Ed Boon likes to say. He's got the technology. We're going to cover up these ladies, not put them in bikinis. Give them silks, leathers, and whatever. So make it beautiful. Not this kind of overly designed bull crap like it still bothers me chain mail leggings with open toed high heels what is this what is this indeed so okay we've got some more we've got the gold and silvers let's see okay this is the gold one I mean, it's definitely better in terms of, like, palette swaps that you get with the basic six. 
Hmm. Also, um, I think like the comparison here would be to this one. They're very similar. They're very similar, and I'm not sure if I like the yellow or the gold more. Because the gold... Here's the thing. When all of the characters in the game have the same look, the same fabric, the same design, the same pattern, it doesn't feel special. It does not feel special. Limited resources, scarcity creates value. Uh, that's why they do the whole FOMO stuff. But when they put the same thing on everyone as free-to-play options, it cheapens it. Definitely cheapens it. So I think they could have gone even matte. I don't think they needed shiny fabric. Or if they were going to go shiny, they should have gone way more shiny. Like gold armor, breastplate, um, metal. That would have been cool. But I feel like this Chong Sam situation is like, it's supposed to be like a blend of masculine and feminine. Because you definitely have more mask vibes from the waist down. Femme vibes from the waist up. I know that's wild, right? <laughs> that's that's wild, but uh, this is giving more so of the traditional Chong Sam, and then down here it's giving like soldier. Not to mention she's wearing like a soldier's helmet for her hair. Ah, okay. And then this is a silver one. So is this satisfactory to get in place of the season two Elder God skin? For Lee Men? Yeah, <laughs> probably. All of those combat league skins, uh, they're tricking people. Because you are getting costume number three. But costume number three is going to be freely available in the game at some point. Titan battle, invasions, the shrine. It seems like the seasons go into the shrine. The Titan battles go into the shrine. So everything will be in the shrine at some point in the future. So what's the point of playing now? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I wasted money on this game. I'm getting my money's worth. I'm not deleting it. I am not deleting it. Was contemplating deleting Tekken. And I did, but I re-downloaded it. I don't play Tekken besides with my brothers and sisters in the fam. So yeah, <laughs> I keep it. But yeah, these uh these skins are they're something. I think I should probably give you a reference to an actual Chong Sam cuz you're like, what is he talking about? So, uh Chong Sam is like uh the inspiration for this dress. It's usually usually short sleeved, not sleeveless, not pleated, but it it'll have that asymmetrical um closure at the top, much like you're seeing here. Asymmetrical closure at the top. And it's usually very body contoured, but none of them are showing their hip. None of them are showing their upper thigh. So, like, you get... You you can see with, like, the Lee Men outfit. From the waist up, it looks very similar to a Chong Sam. Especially with the with the neck detail. But when you go down... Who's... That's... <laughs> this is too revealing. <laughs> that's not true. This is not... Wait. <laughs> that's, that's a black girl wearing a China dress. <laughs> that's... <laughs> I love it. You know what? I typed in pictures of white family and I got pictures of <laughs> It was amusing. <laughs> I I suggest to you type into Google <laughs> pictures of white family. But yeah, this is a Chong Sam. It looks really nice, but with Lee Men, she don't got no curves. That's why I'm saying that Lee Men is shaped like an ironing board. There are no curves. There is nothing feminine to her body shape. 
So trying to put lipstick on a pig <laughs> is not going to work. It's just not going to work. Um, I would have preferred some sleeves here. Short sleeves, not sleeveless. I, I guess it can be sleeveless as well. But yeah, um, yeah, me and mommy love fashion, so buying fashion from around the world is is fun. But yeah, it, as you can see, the hip is not exposed. It, it can be short or it can be long, but it's not as revealing as they do with Lee Men on the side of her, like, booty. Is that their way of saying to gamers, hey, we know you you used to have, um, a, like, these characters used to have sex appeal. So take a look at this boy body. Yay. You can wonder or not if she's got a micro penis like Beyond. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Great. Okay, so yeah, I mean, costume here. Costume will be gone in three days. Hopefully you're picking up all the rewards. If you're having difficulty, let me know. I am responsive to comments. If you ask me how to do the talisman or whatever, <laughs> I'll provide links because, like, nothing is so brand new. I've made builds on all of the talismans that I've made. Even this one. You can find it. Although, I'm not going to, you know, just click. Watch the video. Anyways, 30 of you here. Can we get 30 likes or 30 dislikes or get the hell out? <laughs> the stream's over. All right, let's see what you guys are saying. Thank you for joining. Lol. Hey, Miss Piggy didn't like that comment. <laughs> oh, no. The back of her hair is beautiful. Too bad it's covered. There's too much going on with the hair too much okay it's curled then it's braided at the bottom or tied at the bottom with a high ponytail no too many designs not realistic i don't buy it <laughs> i don't like the hair i don't like the costume i don't like the makeup i don't like all the accessories like the tassels and the belts not to mention what is this like belt upon belt upon belt so we've got two yellow cords knotted in the front with a big black cummerbund? Because that's surely masculine. <laughs> Wrestling belt? Uh, what is that? <laughs> Lee Men is just not giving. Sorry. Go, girl. <laughs> Give us nothing. I love her lack of energy. <laughs> Go, girl. <laughs> Give us nothing. How do you make your talisman good for seasonal tower? Get hundreds and hundreds of components. I used over 800 components to make my talisman. If you're not willing to get the, the components, you can't make the talisman. I'm sorry. That's why I recommend getting a turbo controller. And if you need further advice, do consider joining the Jaded Bunny family. I do provide you all of the glitches, the secrets, the exploits, and I wish I could provide them... But every time I do or did an MK11 or an MK1, they just nerf it. I'm not interested in giving them things to nerf. Sonic Fox might enjoy that, but not I. Um, how does Elder God's blessing work in upgrading? Uh, that was like one of my first talisman builds. Go back to my videos from season one. You'll figure it out how it works but it makes your projectile ethereal it'll pass through the opponent very cool um damn autocorrect oh no not even okay yeah lee men gives me chun lee vibes yeah i agree with johnny it's not it's not chun lee it's more ryu <laughs> it's, a, it's giving akuma i recently learned who akuma is like by day it's akuma and then akuma in drag is this one <laughs> um yeah i don't know about these skins what about the default color i think out of the skins for lee men that are provided here i'm going to say that this one is the best one because you do notice the little ombre at the bottom. 
It's got a little highlight of pink. It's past it's pastel blue and pink. So we know it's trans rights. Don't be phobic. Trans rights, guys. <laughs> trans rights. So let's respect Lehman's pronouns. <laughs> it's ma'am. I'm not a biologist, but, <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, so yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, my friends, for joining along. Please do consider joining the Bunny Fam. Much love to all of my brothers and sisters in the fam who quite literally keep me alive, would not be here on this YouTube were it not for my brothers and sisters. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, huge shout out to everyone here. J4. Love you, J4. Just Drew. Johnny. OMG. Duan. Um, JJ. Love you, brother. OMG. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining along. Hopefully you pick up these rewards if you want them. They're only here for three days. We'll be gone by April 2nd, April 1st. But yes, until next time, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Bye, my friends. Take care. Peace. Love you guys.